In this video, we will be discussing about the veins of face and dangerous area of face. First of all, let us discuss the veins which are draining the face. First of all, we will draw the diagram. So we know that the main vein which is draining the face is the facial vein. So how this facial vein is formed? The facial vein is formed by the union of two veins that is the supratrochlear vein and the supraorbital vein which joins at the medial angle of the eye to form an angular vein. So uh, this vein is the supratrochlear vein. So, this one is the supraorbital vein. Supraorbital and supratrochlear veins joins at the medial angle of the eye to form a vein. And this vein is known as the angular vein. This is the angular vein. vein. So, the angular vein then continues as the facial vein in the face. So this is the facial vein, facial vein. So uh, the drains which are, uh, the veins draining the ala of the nose and the superior labial vein and the inferior labial vein is draining into the facial vein. Veins draining the ala of the nose, superior labial vein and inferior labial veins draining into the facial vein. So this is the superior labial vein. This superior labial vein. And inferior labial vein draining into the facial vein. So the facial vein continues. So this is the air. There is another vein here which is known as the retromandibular vein which is formed by the union of the superficial temporal vein and the maxillary vein. So this is a superficial temporal vein and the maxillary vein which join together to form the retromandibular vein. So this vein is the retromandibular vein. The retromandibular vein has got an anterior division and a posterior division. It has got an anterior division and a posterior division. So anterior division A, posterior division B. Now the facial vein is joining the anterior division of the retromandibular vein. Here it is joining the anterior division of the retromandibular vein and it is forming what common facial vein common facial vein now the common facial vein drains into the internal tubular vein so common facial vein drains into internal tubular vein Now there is another vein which is present behind the auricle that is the posterior auricular vein. So this one is the posterior auricular vein. Now the posterior division of the retromandibular vein joins the posterior auricular vein to form external jugular vein so this one is the external jugular vein the external jugular vein 
drains into the subclavian vein so this is a subclavian vein now these are the uh, superficial veins and there are some deep veins which are communicating with the superficial veins so what are those uh, deep veins uh, we will mention that with another color that is there is a superior ophthalmic vein here which is communicating with the supra orbital vein so this superior ophthalmic vein is a tributary of the cavernous sinus so, so this is the cavernous sinus it's very important this is the cavernous sinus and this is the superior ophthalmic vein which is one of the tributaries of the cavernous sinus so this is called superior ophthalmic vein So the superficial vein, that is the supraorbital vein, communicate by means of superior ophthalmic vein with the cavernous sinus. So the superficial veins are connected by means of these deep veins into the cavernous sinus. So there is also another vein here which is known as the deep facial vein which communicates with the facial vein. So this is the deep facial vein. So the deep facial vein in turn it communicates with the plexus here and this plexus is known as the pterygoid plexus, pterygoid plexus. So from the pterygoid plexus the emissary veins, sphenoid emissary veins communicates with the cavernous sinus. So, the superficial veins indirectly communicate with the cavernous sinus through these deep veins. So, which are the two ways of communication? One is the, through the superior ophthalmic vein, other is through the deep facial vein. The supraorbital vein communicates with the superior ophthalmic vein, which in turn is a tributary of the cavernous sinus. And the deep facial vein communicates with the facial vein and deep facial vein in turn joins the pterygoid plexus from that by means of emissary veins it is communicating with the cavernous sinus. So these superficial and deep veins doesn't have any valves. So blood can flow in either direction. So if there is any infection in the region of the face particularly in the lower part of the nose and the upper limb the infected emboli is carried by means of superficial veins into the deep veins and then to the cavernous sinus. So any infection in the face can be carried through by the veins into the cavernous sinus as these are valveless communications. So it can lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis. So that area of the face which carries the infection into the cavernous sinus is called the dangerous area of the face. So which is that area of the face? That is the lower part of the nose and the upper limb. This much part. Lower part of the nose and the upper limb. This much area. When this much area is infected, it can carry the infected emboli by means of this valveless veins into the cavernous sinus and can lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis. So this leads to cavernous sinus thrombosis. So this area is known as dangerous area of face. Dangerous area of face because any infection in this region can spread to the cavernous sinus and can lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis. So this is known as dangerous area of face. That is the lower part of nose and the upper lip. Lower part of nose and upper lip. So, which are the two ways of communication to the cavernous sinus? One is from the facial vein 
to the defacial vein that is marked is uh, marked in orange color defacial vein to pterygoid plexus from the pterygoid plexus by means of emissary veins to the cavernous sinus finally to the cavernous sinus that is one way of communication of the superficial veins to the cavernous sinus so this is one of the routes of transmission of infection from the face and another route is so from the supraorbital vein to the superior ophthalmic vein and then to cavernous sinus supraorbital vein to the superior ophthalmic vein then finally to this is a tributary of cavernous sinus so it communicates with the cavernous sinus so this is how the superficial veins of the face is communicating with the cavernous sinus this is how the infection in the face is carried to the cavernous sinus and lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis so that is all about the venous drainage of the face and the dangerous ear face thank you for watching this video to see more videos on my channel please subscribe the channel thank you